Uh, hello and welcome again to uh, short story ideas. Uh, yesterday we were looking at things that uh, go wrong um, and how they can be uh, short story in inspirations. Um, One of the things that I kind of missed uh, on at the time was I, I did this with my hair and said, oh, I've got Christopher Walken hair. Now, that in itself was a missed opportunity. And bearing in mind, I'm saying to you, be on the lookout for everyday occurrences in your life, which you could turn into prompts for short stories or inspirational short stories. That was one, because as human beings, our appearance is very, very important to us. So, that is today's short story prompt, all right? Um, I'm going to say that that one action, if you do um, an Edward de Bono lateral thinking exercise on it, then what you would do is this. You would take that action and you would pen and paper or if you really want to into your keyboard, but it's better with pen and paper because you can draw all kind of lines and make mind maps and things. So hair, stroke, appearance, stroke. I use the word vanity, but it's more down to self-image and self-confidence. So it's not a vanity thing at all. How we are perceived by the world is of sometimes very vital importance. Um, and this is where I'm going with this because... Um, your short story, it, it could be, again, I've said this a lot, comedic if you've got that uh, ability to write uh, comedy stories. It could be um, a kind of literary fiction, which is usually, you know, this is the way the world is. Um, it, it could be sort of a science fiction uh, type of thing. And so I'll, I'll, I'll um, come back to these in a moment. But brainstorming okay so appearance so what are the repercussions why is appearance important why is it important well it can affect your own self-esteem if it doesn't then it can also affect the way that people look at you so there's the whole spinach in your teeth cliche um maybe somebody um, is determined to have plastic surgery because they have a perceived you know, uh, defect that they, they think they've got some sort of a defect that needs fixing. Uh, it could be due to age, it could be due to an accident um, for whatever reason. It could be down to, uh, you know, I mean, you know, <laughs> snaggle teeth and all that. They, they, what they want their teeth fixing or they want them whitening and uh, nipping and tucking all that kind of stuff but it's not just hair it's not just the face it could also be your appearance in the way that you dress so there's a lot of different possible ideas for stories so once you list all those down then we'll, we'll go with dress first of all because the way that uh, people dress for one thing, is the subject of certain types of um, a TV program. I mean, I know these are quite old because I don't have a TV now. So if I'm not up to date on these, and there are more up to date ones, then I do apologise. But there used to be a program called Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, where um, I think there were five or six gay men would give some straight guy a kind of a life makeover, and one or two of them were about grooming and about uh, clothing and then in Britain there was a I think they were called Trini and Susanna or something like that and they presented life and appearance uh, uh, what's the word advice uh, to, to people and I'm sure there have been plenty of others but I'm not aware of them but anyway uh, it, it's sufficiently on our agenda of things that we need to be uh, aware of. So first of all, that in itself is source for a short story. Somebody phones up and gets 
on a TV program with hilarious or disastrous or so-so results. Uh, um, in, in the case of literary fiction, it would be a metaphor for life. You get a, an opportunity, and because literary fiction usually has to end with some sort of um, a so-so or pessimistic ending, then it makes no difference to the person because uh, six months later they reverted to the way they used to be, and you know, because that's how life is for a lot of people. Um, comedy. All, all kinds of things are amusing during those programs so I'm sure that somebody with a talent for comedy could play that all up um, science fiction you Marvel style undergo some sort of a, an experiment to improve your teeth and you come out as a mutant or something like that uh, let's see what else have we got romantic comedy um, you think you're going on that kind of program but in fact uh, you go through the wrong door and you find yourself on the set of uh, like a pairing up type of thing and you meet the love of your life with hilarious stroke disastrous results um, thrillers um, well, it's being done it's like panic room whatever people are drawn into a situation and it turns out that uh, an elite group of people are paying money to see unpleasant things happen to them well, that could be a kind of a, a sort of sci-fi type thing as well fantasy it could be that uh, certain beings want to put people in a kind of a big brother stroke fantasy island type of situation in order to stress them so that they can uh, whatever these fantasy beings want to do and I, I need to make a list of some more genres don't i these, these ones uh, stephen king is kind of horror so that'd be somewhere in the fantasy region there what else um i like jack reacher a lot um he's not really a detective he's is he a thriller? i'm not sure but anyway uh, he he he's kind of Sir Galahad stroke Sir Lancelot um, modern day type so what well, he he would have to rescue somebody who's um, oh actually <laughs> I forgot what it is. I think it's personal uh, is it I'm not sure there's one where they're, they're going to set up a, he he's passing a dry cleaners and some senator's daughter is kidnapped and she's just got her clothing out so yeah there's a clothing one okay so let's take us back to um hair and face um uh, again uh, similar sort of situations basically um hair uh, literary fiction um somebody gets alopecia or whatever and they how, how do they deal with it uh, face um, the effect on relationships caused by aging or caused by an accident um, that kind of thing um, revolutionary techniques for uh, plastic surgery uh, including kind of um, there's fixing of the teeth isn't there but there's also developments in in um, eyes um, about 10 years ago i read about some sort of an implant which was enabling people to who'd been blind all their lives they were now beginning to uh, uh, they, they were able to see black and white so uh, i think this one guy riley uh expressed that he, he 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 wasn't so sure it was a great thing because now his wife expected him to be able to help with the laundry and pair the dark socks and, i mean he was being ironic because he was very grateful to have any kind of sight at all but um yeah so um yeah um that in itself me just sort of doing that with my hair it was later on i thought that was a golden opportunity to show that something during the course of the day um, can lead to an idea for stories so oh gosh nearly 10 minutes I, I'm trying to keep these to five minutes so I don't bore the heck out of you so uh, right okay um, that will be it then um, tomorrow we will look at another short story prompt taken from 
the things that we do on a daily basis. We've already looked at the commuter and road rage. We're going to look at the office uh, tomorrow. OK, so um, I'll be with you then. Thanks for watching and like button, subscribe, please, because it helps the algorithm. And if you think that your fellow writers could do with uh, some sort of uh, help with story prompts, then that, that's going to be helping them as well as helping me. OK, bye for now.